here are two books. Notice that each book has one or more authors associated with it. When we're modeling a database, we need to ask ourselves, is the relationship between books and authors one-to-one, one-to-many, many-to-one, or many-to-many? -many? When we look at the information sorted by title, we can see that one or more of the titles has multiple authors. And when we sort the information by author, we can see that at least one of the authors has multiple tables, multiple titles. So we have a many-to-many -many relationship between titles and authors. To implement a many-to-many -many relationship in a relational database, you need to have a third table, if you're going to create it in a normalized database without redundant information. And this third table, sometimes called an association table or a link table, is shown here as title authors. Notice that the title authors table has a composite primary key made up of two foreign keys, title ID that points back to the primary key in titles, and author ID that points back to the primary key in authors. Here's the code to create titles and authors. And the code to create the link table has the uses the references keyword to point back title ID to the primary key in the titles table, and again to point back the author ID column to the author ID primary key in the authors table. Here is a select statement that shows how to combine information from titles and authors using title author link table so that we can get the many-to-many -many relationship shown in our join. As a final note, when we create these toy databases, these small databases with just a few tables and a few rows in each table, you may think of it as a learning tool, but savvy database designers will often use toy databases to model very complex relationships and very large databases. So please remember that this is a effective design tool for throughout your information architecture career. Thank you.